grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I invite you at this time to find a place and posture of prayer. This evening we celebrate the life and witness of Alban, the first martyr of Britain. He died in the year 304. We begin our service on page 117 of the Book of Common Prayer. Please join me. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Say with me, O gracious light. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the world. The psalm appointed is Psalm 34, verses 1 through 8. These, this may be found on page 627 of the Book of Common Prayer. Psalm 34, page 627. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. I will glory in the Lord. Let the humble hear and rejoice. Proclaim with me the greatness of the Lord. Let us exalt God's name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me out of all my terror. Look upon him and be radiant, and do not let your faces be ashamed. I called in my affliction, and the Lord heard me, and saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encompasses those who fear him, and he will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are they who trust in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Tonight's reading comes from the Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus is speaking. Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the world. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And one's foes will be members of one's own household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up the cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Those who find their life will lose it. And those who lose their life for my sake will find it. Whoever welcomes you welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me sends the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever welcomes a righteous person 
and the name of a righteous person will receive the reward of the righteous. And whoever gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones in the name of disciple, truly, I tell you, none of these will lose their reward. Here ends the reading. We continue with the Song of Mary on page 119. Say with me, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty th has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children, forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Say with me the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. As we say our prayers, I remind you that these are prayers that are shared across the world. They date at least from the first century of the Common Era, and they are related to prayers that our Jewish brothers and sisters would have said at least as early as the Babylonian captivity. So we pray together virtually as one and pray as one with all the cloud of witnesses, all those who have gone before us. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Please respond by saying, Lord, hear our prayer. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Lord, hear our prayer. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. Lord, hear our prayer. that you comfort all those affected by COVID-19. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. Lord, hear our prayer. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of Alban, St. Paul, and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, by whose grace and power your holy martyr Alban triumphed over suffering and was faithful even unto death, grant to us who now remember him with thanksgiving to be so faithful in our witness to you in this world that we may receive with him the crown of life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. God of all power and love, we give thanks for your unfailing presence and the hope you provide in times of uncertainty and loss. Send your Holy Spirit to enkindle us, enkindle in us your holy fire. Revive us to live as Christ's body in the world a people who pray, worship, learn, break bread, share life, heal neighbors, bear good news, seek justice, rest, and grow in the Spirit. Wherever and however we gather, unite us in common prayer and send us in common mission that we and the whole creation may be restored and renewed through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Join me in praying a prayer of St. Chrysostom on page 126. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your royal beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen.